Garmin recently released uh, significant updates to its InReach Mini line, the InReach Mini 3 and the Mini 3 Plus. These are small GPS-enabled devices that also have satellite communication to allow navigation, messaging, and SOS in emergency situations. So are these uh, good options for a mobile internet user? And how do they fare in a market that now includes direct to cellular capabilities where some of the features on these uh, SOS devices are now included on a smartphone? Stay tuned for the details. Hi, I'm Andy with the Mobile Learning Resource Center, and today we've got an update for you from Garmin. Now, Garmin is one of the big names in the GPS and uh, navigation space. They make a lot of uh, uh, products for uh, navigation as well as satellite communicators, and they branched out into other areas as well. Um, now, one of their most popular uh, GPS and navigation products that provides satellite uh, basic satellite communication is the InReach Mini series and there's a new line out now the InReach Mini 3. Now there's two models in the new uh, Mini 3 line there's the base Mini 3 for $449 and then there is the plus model for $50 more at $499. Now these provide uh, some significant enhancements over the previous Mini 2 uh, series and uh, those include a color touch screen, uh, faster GPS and more accurate GPS fixes, a better and longer battery life. And what's interesting about the Plus model is that it uses Iridium's newer Certus uh, network that has higher bandwidth. And that higher bandwidth uh, allows the Plus model to not just send these standard sort of text messages uh, that you can send with uh, the typical satellite communicator, but it also allows you to send voice and photo messages. So you can record uh, your voice on, on the device itself. It does have a microphone and speaker and send messages over the Iridium network that way. So that gives some additional uh, connectivity and communication capability that previously wasn't available in the InReach Mini series. Now you may be wondering uh, why we're talking about this on a mobile internet uh, related channel and well we've covered these devices before we do have a review of the of the Mini 2 which we've used we've also used a similar device called the Zolio and we've previously seen these as sort of a a nice safety feature to have in places where you are off grid where there isn't standard satellite or cellular connectivity well, since we uh, first started looking at these devices, uh, technology has changed a lot. And now there is direct to cellular uh, technologies that are quickly being developed and are implemented in many cases already that provide a lot of the same features as one of these uh, satellite communicator devices like the uh, InReach Mini 3. So that is a fast moving uh, technological topic with developments all the time so I would encourage you to uh, click over to our uh, latest satellite industry update where we uh, periodically update all the new technology and we do also have several videos here on the channel on what the latest satellite developments are including direct to sell technologies where you can get these capabilities directly on your smartphone. So even though uh, there's a lot more competition in the market from smartphones being able to provide a lot of that emergency communication via satellite, uh, without having to have a dedicated device, there are some instances where you may want to have one of these more dedicated devices like the InReach Mini 3. Uh, there are some advantages to having uh, a dedicated device over using your smartphone. So if, if you were off-grid a lot, uh, and you need that emergency connectivity, it may be a good idea to have uh, one of these devices uh, with you uh, as a backup and as an emergency communication option. So some of the advantages of, for instance, the InReach series or similar um, 
uh, models from other companies is that uh, they're a lot lighter than a smartphone. They generally have much longer battery life, so often several days of battery life without a charge, which you generally don't get with a small phone. They're also, with a smartphone rather, they're also quite a bit more rugged. They're designed to be uh, outdoors, worn on a backpack for in instance. And um, they do have better coverage globally. So outside of North America, especially Garmin, they have a lot of relationships with uh, the sort of rescue forces and uh, emergency operations in other countries. So that if you're a global traveler, um, a lot of the direct to sell options right now do not have good global coverage, although that is likely to change. So you do want to keep in mind, however, that these devices, uh, like the InReach Mini, are illegal in some countries and can get you uh, arrested if you bring them in there. And um, they're also very reli reliable. Um, they are uh, more tested, have a longer track record than the newer direct-to-sell technologies. So that is also something to consider. But uh, you really need to look at your particular needs and decide which option is best for you. You may even want to have a cell phone with direct-to-cell capabilities as well as a dedicated device like the InReach Mini 3 or Mini 3 Plus. You really need to look at what sort of outdoor and remote activities that you do, where you travel, and what sort of a safety net that you want to have in case something uh, happens to determine if that if this is something good to have in your arsenal. So that's it for today. Um, we appreciate you watching. Stay connected and we'll see you next time. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.